A sniffer dog is being used in southern New South Wales to help find a noxious weed that has the potential to devastate waterways. It's the first time a dog has been trained to detect the noxious weed and there's hope it could help eradicate it from the area. Verity Gorman reports. Managing alligator weed in swamps like this one near Griffith in southern New South Wales can be a serious challenge. The weed is tricky to find, which is why four-legged detectives are being brought in. Connor, the English Springer Spaniel, has been trained to sniff out the weed. So usually we use a dog when either something is in really high grassland where it's difficult for us to spot or maybe things like drones aren't so useful. Um, out in water, he's a terrific swimmer being a Spaniel, um, so he can swim out and find weeds growing in water. Connor is believed to be one of the only dogs in the world trained to find alligator weed. So hopefully with, with the results that we're getting out of this, the, the dogs in agriculture will be just as common as using things like drones and people on quad bikes and things as well. The noxious weed spreads rapidly and is extremely costly to manage. Recently we've spent up to 60 plus thousand, um, you know, because the, the country's so hard to get machinery to spray it, so we, you know, we have to call in helicopters. Um, this is the kind of weed that can double every two weeks, so if it's not adequately controlled, um, it can take over waterways, which is, you know, terrible for biodiversity as well as agriculture. It's hoped the use of sniffer dogs will make it easier to find alligator weed and stop it from spreading. Uh, so in Australia at the moment, uh, we are kind of on the front line of conservation detection dogs, so we've got dogs finding endangered turtles. There's quite a few dogs finding koalas at the moment. And uh, there's a dog that's just been deployed in Western Australia who's actually finding uh, leaking water pipes underground as well. While it might look like hard work, trainer Ryan Tate says dogs like Connor love the challenge. His father, his mother, all the dogs in his litter and the following litters are all working dogs, so they're not just dogs that would be content playing a game of fetch in the backyard. They live for what we call the hunt. Even though he's only hunting a plant, he's using his nose to hunt out something. With demand for conservation detective dogs growing, we could see them being used more often. Verity Gorman, ABC News, Griffith. As daylight